Grade 5 Math, number 11.6. Unit cubes can build solid figures. A unit cube is a cube that has length, width, and height of one unit. It has six square faces, 12 edges, eight vertices, and 24 angles. Can you see the length, width, and height on this cube? If we unfold the cube, we can compare it to a rectangular prism unfolded, and we can see that the cube has six identical squares, where the rectangular prism has four rectangles and two squares. A rectangle prism is like unit cubes stuck together on their sides. They can be stacked, so we don't see some of them, but we know they're there because something must be holding the top cubes in place. There's eight cubes here, four in the front, and these three, turquoise, pink, and orange, and we only see seven, but we know there's one hiding in the back, in the bottom, holding the turquoise one up, right? Now, if we had three separate unit cubes with six faces each, that would be a total of 18 faces. But if we smash them together, four of the faces are going to disappear. This rectangle really does still have six faces. A rectangular prism has six faces, so does a unit cube. The difference is these are four rectangle and two square, and these are six identical square. They both have eight vertices, they both have 24 angles, they both have 12 edges. The only difference between them is that the rectangle prism has four rectangular faces and two square ones, and the cube has six identical square ones. We can count them. If you see a problem that says how many unit cubes, you just count each cube. Each one is a unit cube. So there's eight. In this one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven unit cubes. So it's really easy to count them. So those are unit cubes. You're going to see lots of them stacked together and you're going to have to count them to figure out how many there are. And each one, when they're stacked together like this, these eight unit cubes make a rectangular prism. Isn't that something? All right. I'll see you next video. Bye.